The EC4 brings a dose of Citroen individuality to the EV part of the family hatchback segment. The looks have a crossover vibe, the range is a reasonable 217 miles, and the cabin is the most comfortable in the class. If you're fed up with clinical family EVs, then here's one that might charm you. Rather interestingly, this is one EV that doesn't spear away from rest like a scalded cat. That attribute is a bit pointless. It cuts across this car's laid back Gallic demeanor and it needlessly depletes battery reserves. So Citroen hasn't bothered with it here. The EC4 is a bit like Mazda's rival MX-30 in that respect. Not that the EC4 is slow, the 134 bhp electric motor allows 62 miles an hour to be dispatched in 9.7 seconds on the way to a maximum that you'll never bother with of 93 miles an hour. What you'll notice more is the relaxed gait. It's inevitably not as light on its feet uh, through the corners as a combustion engine C4. The weight of the 50 kilowatt hour battery has to tell somewhere. Your driving position is somewhere between that of a family hatch and an SUV and you get a couple of pedals along with a small straightforward gear lever. Uh, there's no one pedal driving option like you do get in the Nissan Leaf but there is an extra B mode which gives greater lift off deceleration so boosting the battery's energy harvesting efforts so you can get somewhere close to the claimed 217 mile range figure. The ride is very comfort orientated as you'd expect from a Citroen thanks to their clever progressive hydraulic suspension setup. Now here the car's springs and shock absorbers work in concert with hydraulic compression and rebound stops which are supposed to slow body movement over bumps and tarmac tears. Citroen isn't one of those brands who think that a full EV needs to look radically different from a combustion hatch, so you'll struggle to tell this EC4 apart from its combustion engine C4 showroom counterparts unless you happen to notice the badging or the charging flap. Like other C4 variants, this one confirms that the delineating line between family hatch and compact SUV design is being even more blurred, which many folk in search of a compact hatch will think to be no bad thing. Let's take a look inside. The dash gets the kind of big 10-inch central touchscreen that's in current vogue and a fully digitalised instrument binnacle. Uh, thankfully, the climate controls are separated out from the screen on the centre stack. Let's take a look in the rear. The EC4 is 4.35 metres long, which isn't huge for a focus-sized hatch. But once inside, space is reasonable on the rear seat. Uh, the brand claims best-in-class knee room. Uh, we wouldn't quite agree with that. There is a little more room in the back of a rival Volkswagen ID3, but it'll be fine for a couple of adults on medium-length trips. Out back, there's a decently-sized 380-litre boot, which is exactly the same size as that of the combustion engine model. Citroen includes a twin-level boot floor for extra convenience. You might struggle to replicate the claimed 217 mile range figure we quoted earlier unless you habitually drive like Miss Marple, but that's hardly an issue that's exclusive to Citroen when it comes to EV mileage claims. We found that in urban use it's much easier to get closer to the target figure. The EC4 is fitted with an 11 kilowatt charger which can charge from empty in around seven and a half hours using a 32 amp home wall box. It also has a 100 kilowatt fast charger which can achieve an 80% charge in around half an hour using a public fast charger. You might not be quite ready to make the step from family hatch to SUV and you might also not be quite ready to make the step from combustion engine to full electric. This Citroen EC4 makes either of those seismic steps a good deal more palatable to folk wavering on the edge of a crossover culture or a nightly charging regime. You get most of the visual cues associated with an SUV and enough driving range to make the switch from combustion to EV realistic enough to consider. Let's be honest, all of that isn't going to be enough to allow this car to outsell the two family hatch EV models it's primarily targeted at, the Nissan Leaf and the Volkswagen ID3. But the EC4 has a much more individualistic, charismatic feel than either of those two cars. It's a proper Citroen, which means it's interesting, it's stylish and extremely comfortable. And a proper Citroen is something we always welcome.
If you're looking for a wider choice in the EV part of the family hatchback segment, then you should welcome it too.